Hello Internet users. This is James for RealHomeRecording.com. I am obviously a computer simulated, English voice. I was created by Oddcast.com. Adam is still dealing with a sore throat, so I am filling in for him so that today's video release deadline can be met. Adam is slowly getting better, thanks for your concerns. Jerlijan Nikolic from Uline sent Adam a license to try out the new Loudness Meter Pro version 2.1. Adam decided to make a review video about it, so the words my computer-generated mouth are about to say are Adam's opinions. We are living in the age of streaming media. YouTube, Spotify and Apple Music, to name a few. To mitigate loudness complaints, each of these companies either automatically adjusts or requires audio material to be delivered at a specific level. If your audio exceeds a service's loudness threshold then your material may be rejected or worse, automatically turned down. You want to be able to control your own loudness decisions, for the highest quality sound reproduction. You also don't want listeners to complain about having to constantly adjust their volume. Unfortunately, not every streaming company agrees on what the optimal loudness level should be. That's where metering plugins like Yulian's loudness meter come into play. Most broadcast loudness meters aren't cheap. In fact, if you have the words post-production or broadcast in your marketing material, you are required by law to tack on an additional 75% to a product's price. I'm joking, but that's normally how things are. Yulian's developer is on a mission to change that. The mission? Excellent quality loudness metering software that everyone can afford and that will continue to be developed. I have been using EBU loudness from Tone Boosters for a long time. It's a good little plug-in, but it's missing modern features like GUI scaling and VST3 support. It is not up to date on streaming standards either. But I have used it quite a bit over the years. Back in the year 2016, Yulian won KVR's developer challenge and ever since has been improving his plugin. Now, here is my review of it. The brief intro tutorial when loudness meter is first loaded was cool. I have never seen something like that before in a plugin. The GUI in version 2.1 compared to the developer challenge GUI is night and day. It is an uncluttered modern look that still provides all of the information that you need to keep track of loudness levels. The new dark theme and text scaling features are excellent. The interface is very customizable. It is obvious that a lot of thought, work and attention was spent on getting everything looking right. Custom loudness presets help future-proof the plug-in. Mono, stereo and 5.1 surround sound channel options are available. I only have three main honest complaints. First, if it's technically possible for the custom folder file export window to be changed from this to this, it would be a welcome modification. Second, when I pressed 400% GUI scaling out of curiosity and could not reset it, that was annoying. Luckily I have the ability to change my screen size to 4K but it'd be nice to have an emergency button near the top left corner, like with Neo Piano. Yulian will undoubtedly add that in a future update, because he has been very open to user feedback. One last complaint is, mouse over tool tips would be welcome on some controls that aren't clearly labeled. A friend of real home recording, Studio Compi Fox, approves of this meter. If you are familiar with Mr. Fox's love of meters, you understand what type of seal of approval that is. I could end the review there and it would be complete, but I will continue with a few more observations. The loudness meter PDF manual is well written and laid out. Speaking of, here are some quick tips from that manual. Click the histogram graph to pause tracking. Double click on the graph to resume tracking. Click and drag left or right to move through the measurements history. Click and drag up or down to move the histogram scale. Move scroll wheel to change window size. You may need to click on the plugin interface first to get the mouse wheel to work. If tracking is disabled, Moving a mouse wheel will change the window size relative to a mouse position. Yulian was super nice and he said that if I wanted to give a license away to anybody out there who's a real home recording viewer, then I could do that. And I was thinking about doing a contest and I figured, you know what, I'm just going to give it to the person who has been the most engaged viewer for the entire year, 2018. And that person is Heavy Metal Mixer. 
congratulations and Merry Early Christmas. Julian will be in contact with you very shortly uh, to give you the pro license. So again, thank you, Julian, for making that happen. Final thoughts on Julian Loudness Meter Pro version 2.1. I love the hold max and true peak above the threshold readouts along with the dynamic range meter section. Some other advanced features include zero latency operation, PDF, PNG and SVG file exporting at various pixel resolutions and two color themes. Histogram customization including time code and system time. A choice of readout focus custom settings. There is a 30 days money back guarantee on the pro version and a free version with less features available. Updates will be for the lifetime of the plugin. AAX, AU, VST2 and VST3 are supported. If you need a loudness plugin then Real Home Recording recommends this one. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If Adam has helped you produce better quality audio, then please consider becoming a monthly patron or donate via PayPal. Bye!